WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the 1 p.m. update. I'm your uh, host right now, Steve Rhodes. Uh, we'll be coming live to you in just a few minutes. Right now, we've got the uh, Dow. Of course, I'm live right now, but I mean for the full hour. But right now, we've got the Dow trading down 12 points, so a flat market out there. S&P's off four. NASDAQ 100 down 67 points, uh, mostly, not all, but mostly a result of the uh, move lower in Google. Google, by the way, is trading down 107 uh, bucks, but what Google's done is pulled all the way back to support. You know, when you're ever, the, the, the way that I got into this business was uh, because of all the individual holdings that I used to have. Now it's mostly ETFs. Um, but uh, in wanting to understand if something was going to fall apart, where would it pull back to? And the idea was to be able to always identify support. And in the case of uh, Google, if you're watching this on Tiger TV, what you can see here, you'll see a green line at the bottom at 1173.41. I want you to know that the low so far today has been 1175, even Stephen out there. But what Price did was it pulled right back to support. That is the bottom of its weekly profile. Now, it closed below 1173.41. That would say there's a change in trend. I know you're saying, hey, come on, Steve-O. There's a $107 move to the downside. Do you mean that's not a change in trend? Hello? That is exactly what I'm saying. Now, if we take a look at the other markets out here, you got the semis up seven tenths of a percent. That's 10 points. New York Stock Exchange is up 27 points. Now, I could take you through each and every indice. We'll do that when we come back to the uh, Trader's Ed show out there. But in most of those indices, the cash markets out there, they have identified topping signals. There's two that don't. And that's got to make you say, hmm, something to think about. And one of those indices is the New York Stock Exchange. If we take a look at the NYSE, there is no topping signal in place as we speak right now. And that's trading up 25 bucks. It has to make you say, hmm, something to think about. However, inside the New York Stock Exchange, it does have its diverging issues. And what I mean by that is price is moving higher. But what we've got is we still have its price oscillator below zero, and we have had declining tops inside this pattern. Here's the juggernaut. The real key to the New York Stock Exchange is will the spot volatility index stay below its 50-day EMA? 1418, folks, that's your number to watch throughout the day and the days that follow. Thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes, that's me in the Trader's Edge, up next.